Hi guys, what's up? It's Sam. So this is another midnight vlog and it's gonna be a quick one because I know if I draw it out for too long that it's gonna be like a 20 minute video. But basically I wanted to talk about the future because I think that's a super duper interesting topic and like just what's gonna happen in the future. Like, you know how all these historians and stuff are looking back at like 1066 and like Beowulf and you know Shakespeare and being like well okay we know this about Beowulf um from like the time it was written the paper it was written on the ink it was written on or with just everything about that you know like they make uh assumptions and uh infer things based on like the science behind this stuff and I think that's really cool but I also think it's cool that you know in the future like a thousand years from now there are going to be historians that are looking back on us and I'm I really love thinking about the kind of stuff that they'll find like they'll find Twilight and they'll find the Harry Potter books and the Hunger Games and you know, Rainbow Rowell's books, um, that's about the books, the extent of the books that I can think of. And they'll find YouTube videos and, well, I don't know if they'll actually find YouTube videos, but, you know, and because, you know, YouTube is archiving stuff and because Twitter is archiving stuff for, like, the government or whatever, um, and because so many different things are being written, I mean, like, you know, archive of our own, um, like, they are a super big, you know, literary resource that historians might look back and say, oh, you know, like, look at that. Um, and I think it's so amazing to think that the stuff that we do could you know, be inferred as, I don't know, like something else for historians, uh, like a thousand years from now when no one from this time period is alive, I think that's super duper cool. Like, I don't know, I just love thinking about the future and like what will change and, you know, but most of all the literary aspect of it. It's like, we have to infer so much from, like, Shakespeare's writing to get to know him because nobody that knew him is alive now. So, you know, we can't just ask somebody. And, like, time travel is very uh, dangerous, I think, and we don't have it yet, so that kind of uh, is a big hurdle, you know? But it's like, you know... I think in the future, if we do have time travel, no one is going to be able to use it because it is so hard to like control that stuff. Um, but I'm getting on a tangent. I think it's so amazingly cool. I'm just saying the same thing over and over, but it is so cool that, you know, they're going to see Twilight and they're going to be like, wow, these people were super into vampires and werewolves. Because, I mean, of all the spinoffs and stuff that came out of it, and I don't think Twilight is the best representation of our culture and our society. I think, you know, there are some really weird parts of Twilight and some parts of Twilight that don't really, like, reflect society as it is now. Um, I, and, like, you know, uh, Harry Potter it's a good book series. I definitely think it's a classic. Um, I think they're classics, absolutely. But I don't feel like it's a super good representation. Um, because, I mean, it's like London and, you know, because it's popular in America, but, you know, it's not based in America, but I don't know. Um, and then like, other books like it's not an accurate representation of our culture and our society 
and I feel like that's where like YouTube videos could step in as well because like there are so many uh, different people on YouTube like it's so diverse and it gives you a glimpse of like what everyone's life is like basically and I feel like that's a really good resource because you know sure some people are just like you know very uh stereotypical I guess and um there are a lot of youtubers that have a lot of money and so their lifestyle reflects that and their vlogs reflect that but there are also youtubers who do vlogs who are very open about you know the money they make and I mean not like super open but they give you a rough estimate of how much they make and uh they really share their lives with you and I think that's really cool and I think those are the people that are going to be informing uh is it archaeology? it's not archaeology, it's anthropology um in the future I think it's anthropology anyway uh and that's the coolest thing ever to me I can't even imagine like and also I think about what my future is going to be like you know like I really hope um I was watching this episode of uh DC Legends of Tomorrow I think it's called my brother was watching it and I was looking at it while he was watching it so um and I they did something, they screwed up history, and George Lucas didn't produce the films that he is so known for, and so these two guys didn't become like a scientist or an archaeologist or whatever uh, because of that, and it's like, I'm always like, you know, I want to do, I want to inspire people. I would love to inspire people, even if it was just one person that felt inspired enough to do something that they wanted to do, like, that would be amazing. But, you know, I'm always like, what if? What if I got super popular by something, maybe writing or something, um, because I'm actually doing that, you know? Uh, if I got super popular and I actually, like, inspired people to do things, I mean, because, like, the Twilight books aren't great, and I'll be the first person to say that, but Stephanie Meyer inspired me so much that I wrote 12,000 words. I don't know if I've said this before. I wrote 12,000 words of this, like, preteen romance vampire novel. That's super cool, you know? <clears throat> I know this, vi this video is getting long, I'm sure, but if I could be an inspiration for somebody, um, like, I love thinking of that possibility, like, that possibility just opens up more possibilities and I can think about it for, like, hours, it's so fun to think about, um, but yeah, um, to recap, like, history is amazing and, like, there are a lot of bad things that happen in history, but, um, I think the literary aspect of, uh, what they, what anthropologists do and stuff is really interesting, and I think it'd be really cool to know how they're gonna interpret now in the future, and also, um, I think it'd be cool to inspire people, but yeah. That's it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.